Back in January, rental giant Hertz announced that it was selling off 20,000 Teslas from its fleet and investing in regular gas cars instead. It was one of the most expensive virtue signaling experiments in US history, video linked in description. It does not take much to realise that EVs are a disaster waiting to happen for a rental fleet for a number of reasons. They are way more expensive to purchase in the first place. They are more expensive to repair when they get damaged. They are more likely to get into accidents than regular cars due to stupid levels of torque. They have catastrophic depreciation and woeful residual value when they are sold on. And most importantly, nobody wants to hire the wretched things. So after parent company Volvo cut its financing, it's little wonder that Hertz is now also dropping Polestar. Welcome back to MGuy, British engineer and lawyer turned Sydney YouTuber. Please be sure to like, share and subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment down below and follow me on Twitter X. As Drive reports, Hertz hits pause on Polestar electric vehicles. The US car rental giant is continuing to revert back to a petrol powered fleet, stopping the purchase of 65,000 Polestar electric cars following its offloading of Tesla models in January 2023. US car rental giant Hertz is continuing its plans to revert back to a petrol-powered fleet with a decision to halt its purchase of Polestar electric vehicles. Hertz previously announced its plans to buy 65,000 electric cars from the car maker. However, according to a Financial Times report, Polestar CEO Thomas Ingenlath was informed of the oncoming buying freeze by Hertz CEO Stephen Scher late last year. According to the report, Polestar agreed to the deal on the condition Hertz would not offload its current stock of 13,000 Polestar vehicles for a quick turnaround at a cheaper price. This comes as Hertz started to sell 20,000 Tesla electric vehicles from its fleet in January 2024, with the rental giant previously citing expensive repair costs, coupled with a lower depreciation value as the main reasons behind the change back to petrol-powered cars. Collision and damage repairs on an electric vehicle can often run about twice that associated with a comparable combustion engine, Mr. Scher previously said in a media statement. It's these last points which are really the killer for EVs in a rental fleet. A single scratch to an EV battery, which is located under the entire floor pan, caused by something as simple as grounding the car accidentally on a curb, can total out the entire car as nobody wants to take the risk that the battery may have sustained latent damage that might cause a fire weeks or months into the future, especially not a rental company. And so in one of the greatest backtracks in history, harsh reality has slapped this particular corporate in the face. And if you'll excuse the pun, I can imagine it really, really hurts.